After years of trying, the tech industry is finally making robots happen. From vacuuming, to mowing, to serving drinks and patrolling airports, these autonomous droids are everywhere, and yes, they're a little creepy. But then there's this little guy, the Gita Mini. It's designed and programmed to be paired with a human, sort of like a very obedient dog full of ones and zeros. It also carries stuff for you, 20 pounds of stuff, making it a proxy backpack or kind of like a grocery bag on wheels. If you trace Gita's family tree, eventually you arrive at the Vespa. A few years ago, Piaggio, the Italian scooter giant, was looking for a product to crack the American market, which never really warmed up to the Vespa. It invested in a Boston startup called Fast Forward, and the Gita project was born. According to CEO Greg Lynn, the idea was to zig where other robot startups were zagging. Instead of trying to replace a human entirely, they set out to augment one. The Gita, like a Vespa, is intended to replace car trips, but by enabling walkable errands, say going to the corner store for a bag of dog food. The bot's good for the person, and indirectly, it's good for the planet. Still, these aren't the droids a lot of people are looking for. Uh -huh. Piaggio hasn't said how many they've sold, and they've acknowledged that the Gita at $1,850 has yet to really take over a city or a whole neighborhood. The larger opportunity lies in commercial applications. The company is now shifting to B2B and trying to sell to airports, construction sites, industrial areas, and clients like that. Basically, anywhere you see a cart is ripe terrain for a Gita. When palling around with the Gita, you're sure to attract a whole parade of gobsmacked onlookers. That's the goal of this thing. But until the general population is totally unimpressed, follower bots like the Gita still have a lot of work to do.